when I'm asked what the master's degree in data center leadership and management is about, I have a clear vision of developing strategic and highly capable leaders across the data center sector. Those that can respond to external pressures, recognize internal challenges, and use evidence as a basis for their decision-making um, whilst responding to those leadership and management priorities. Those managers working in a data centre facility, ideally with two years or more managerial experience and a qualification equivalent um, to a bachelor's degree, Whilst not essential, we can also consider the length of managerial experience and determine through academic interview suitability for the programme. We have had some recent success with applicants straight from our Level 5 programmes, where their managerial experience has supported them to make the leap onto the Master's degree in, in Data Centre Leadership and Management. For international applicants, we also require the equivalent of an English qualification of IELTS 6.5. Inquiries come through our business development coordinator and at that first point of contact the interest of the applicant is gathered through an application form along with their CV and previous qualifications. This comes to myself for consideration for suitability for the um, current cohort for each applicant, we undertake an academic interview, one to assess um, the breadth of the management and leadership experience that the candidate has, but also to ensure that the applicant is, is clear about expectations from the programme, what's going to entail over the three years and whether they're at the right point in their career to succeed and, and, and take away the best learning from the master's degree. CNET Training is an Associate College of Anglia Ruskin and this means we have a franchise opportunity to deliver and manage the Master's Degree in Data Centre Leadership and Management. There's two benefits to this. The first is the structure and support of the large university network and the resources that that makes available to our learners along with the stringent quality assurance processes um, around the, the quality of the assessed work that we deliver to the university in meeting the requirements of the master's degree. And the second benefit relates to the ability to draw on the extensive network that CNET training has across the data centre sector to ensure the master's degree remains current. We're often asked about funding support to, to help with the programme and we regularly signpost applicants to the iMasons scholarship as they are committed to supporting a diverse range of applicants uh, being able to access management and leadership education. The master's degree programme is delivered via distance learning. What that actually means is finding the flexibility within your working week to fulfil 10 hours of study towards your master's degree education. For some, that may be dedicated half days or days of learning. For others, that's time at the evenings, time at the weekends. And distance learning allows that flexibility to suit everybody's unique circumstances. The material that you engage with on the master's degree is all available at the start of each module that you study. And so therefore you can make a self-programme of study time based around the topic content. The only time there is real-time activities are through our tutorials where you have the opportunity to engage directly with the tutor, which is normally questions and answers around the content and the assessment preparation. Everyone has their own reason for wanting to embark on this level of study for their own professional development, either in the content and all the transferable skills that come 
from research and critical thinking. The credentials that you achieve through successful completion of the master's degree programme is the master's degree award in itself. That's awarded from Anglia Ruskin University and alongside the university certificate you also have the post nominals of using MA um, after your name. In addition, CNET recognises your success through a certificate and a digital badge that you can use across your social media platforms. The completion of the master's degree is recognised by a graduation celebration. Firstly, there is a formal graduation ceremony with Anglia Ruskin University in Cambridge. And we also recognise the success of the master's degree with a, a special and informal CNET celebration held in a historic building in Cambridge where we invite friends and families to join our learners on celebrating their tremendous achievement.